Hey class, did you know that speaking Shakespearean prose makes you 33% more likely to be an idiot? Well, first, you need to know what prose is. I'm not talking about Shakespeare's iambic verse, since verse and prose are two completely different things. Prose refers specifically to the parts of Shakespeare's plays that were not written in metered lines. In other words, it's the stuff that was written the way that we write and speak today, in unrhyming, unrhythmic block text. Most times when you're reading Shakespeare, verse only takes up about half the width of the page, while prose is written like modern text, going from one side of the page to the other. And if you can't tell by sight, the quickest way to figure out if you're dealing with prose is to try and scan it like a line of verse. If it comes up like an irregular mess with little rhyme or reason, you're probably dealing with prose. Uh, word of warning though, Shakespeare would sometimes write a line of prose that scans iambically. Did he do it on purpose? Nobody knows. But it certainly doesn't help simplify matters. So when you're testing for prose, you have to take the entire section into consideration. There is a theory that, generally, verse speakers are communicating with their hearts, while prose speakers are communicating with their heads. So if prose comes from the brain, why would speaking it possibly make you an idiot? Because in Shakespeare, there are three different kinds of characters who speak it. The dumb, the smart, and the wily. Oftentimes, the characters who spoke prose in Shakespeare were the clown characters, especially in the early plays. Bottom, Dogberry, Elbow, Don Armado, they all spoke almost exclusively in prose, and they're hardly the brightest bulbs in the bunch. Clowns are trying to appear more well-off than their stations and gain more respect than they're owed. Take Dogberry from Much Ado or Elbow from Measure for Measure. They're both police officers trying to seem more powerful and intelligent than they actually are, which means they have to use their thinky parts to carefully choose their words and fail miserably. At the same time, some of Shakespeare's smartest characters occasionally spoke in prose as well. Beatrice, Benedict, Rosalind, the melancholy Jakes, hell, even Hamlet spoke it from time to time. These are characters who are either greatly overanalyzing the world around them, like Hamlet or Benedict, or are trying to disguise themselves as something that they aren't, like Rosalind or, again, Hamlet, and would need to carefully craft their words to do so. Additionally, characters who are trying to outwit their opponents need to have sharp minds, like Benedict and Beatrice. Finally, there's one more class of character that exclusively speaks in prose. The Fools. Touchstone, Autolycus, Lavatch, Lear's Fool, Festy, save for the times that they're singing, they're always speaking in prose. Fools speak prose for many of the reasons mentioned before. They pride themselves on outwitting the characters around them, they overanalyze for comedic effect, and sometimes they try to raise themselves out of their low lot in life, like Autolycus. And if you're wondering what the difference is between a fool and a clown, in Shakespeare's day, a fool was a job, much like a modern stand-up comedian. A licensed fool was a professional joke teller, a jester, and they were the only person in the household expected to speak the absolute truth. In fact, Shakespearean fools are extremely similar to stand-up comedians like Jon Stewart or Louis C.K., but that's another video for another time. So next time you catch a character speaking in prose, ask yourself, why is this not verse? Try applying the head versus heart logic to it and see if that helps, because it might open up some cool character motivations. Well, that's all for this one. And as always, if you have an interest in Shakespeare, theater, or wordplay in general, take a second to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.